hello beauties welcome back to my channel if this is the first time stopping by to my channel my name is atinoke i'll be sharing with you guys how i achieved this lovely diy throw on and go bang wig using multi expression crochet hair to achieve this gorgeous uh, wig sorry gorgeous wig you can see i've already show you guys the multi i'm going to be using the hair then now you can see what i'm doing i love doing this to make my work very easy you want to make my wig to be very light you won't over crochet so kindly please keep on uh, enjoying this amazing tutorial and please guys do not forget to hit on the like button if you're enjoying this video do not forget to subscribe if you've not done that kindly please subscribe to subscribe is free please make sure you click on the subscribe button guys keep on enjoying this amazing tutorial so for the back we are going to be doing cut two i'm going to cut one multi hair into two then separate into three you are going to see how i'm going to separate it cut one multi hair into two then separate into three It's very really important for you to space your hands at the back so that the wig will be very lightweight so that it won't be over heavy or over shapeless. When the wig is over shapeless, it won't come out so beautiful. As I always say, make sure you separate your hand when crocheting. And this hair is very easy to crochet. I did only one knot when crocheting. So I wanted to use only one and a half pack for this L star because that was the only pack I left. I sorry, that was the only pack I have left over. So I have no choice than to add 
color black because one and the half pack i later noticed that it took me enough so you can see what i did towards the upside i had the color black and you are going to see as we are watching this video at this track i raised it up when we reach that i'll explain to you guys So this is what I'm talking about. I raise it up, then I crochet underneath it because the space was too much. So for the front, for the ba bank, <laughs> sorry, so for the bank, we did cut three. I cut one into three for the front side for the bank because I don't want it to be over full. You're going to see how we are going to achieve this. Then I separate into three also when finish cutting. You can see I spaced my hands out a lot at the front side also because I don't want the bank to be over full. We don't want that. After I'm done crocheting the bang, then I will do the closing up for the back. I started using color black, later I finish it with the second color. So can you please make sure you keep on watching this amazing tutorial for you to see the beautiful outcome guys. Do not forget to click on the like button, subscribe also, share with your loved one, I really appreciate that. when trimming please do not trim a lot make sure you put it on first before you trim you can see i just trim a little little by little then i put it on then i did the final trimming
Three, four. <laughs>